Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of the 360 Daily Show. I'm your host, Adese Adwaka, and these are the headlines. Ashaker Zulungu Boy breaks streaming records on Spotify Africa. Remo spotted flaunting his chiseled body in new video. I am not in competition with you. Peter P. Square calls out his twin in open letter. And Lindsay Lohan gives off goddess vibes in ethereal gown at Disney's D23 Expo. And on our trending segment, Ashaker's third album tallied 5.86 million streams on Spotify on its opening day. This is a new record on Spotify Nigeria as Lungu Boy breaks the previous record of 4.91 million streams held by David O's Timeless. Lungu Boy also set a new record for the biggest opening day global streams for a Nigerian album on Spotify with 9.2 million streams. The second track of the album, MMS, recorded 800,577 streams on its first day of release on Spotify Nigeria. This sets a new record on the platform after surpassing the previous 606,000 streams set by Whiskey's IDK featuring Zlatan. Lungu Boy garnered over 3 million streams on Spotify Nigeria in its second day of release. It's the biggest second day stream for any album in 2024 and it surpasses the opening day streams of any other project released this year. And on to our Spotted segment, Rema has taken the internet by storm with a new video showcasing his summer physique. In the video, Rema, famous for his incredible live performances, is seen slow dancing to his popular track or Zeba while in front of a mirror. The outfit Rema wore in the videos featured no shirt beneath his jacket, highlighting his abs and putting his stomach on full display. Now, Zeba is one song that is the rave of the moment right now. Like it is driving everybody crazy all around the world. I have seen videos and trust me, it is crazy. There's also a challenge about Zeba that's going on on TikTok and of course i cannot participate i don't have that kind of energy guys come on <laughs> i do not have that kind of energy for that kind of song that song is really energetic now seeing this video of rema vibing to his own song guys i saw something something really sexy do you know what it is his abs Ugh! i didn't know rema had abs though what like those abs are given guys don't wear shirt again rema should stop wearing tops i don't want to see rema wear top anywhere again because his abs they're hot rema Keep giving it to us back to back. And on to our editorial segment, Peter, also known as Mr. P, has voiced his frustrations and concerns in an open letter in response to a recent series of public statements made by his brother, Paul. He wrote in part, just like I have told you several times, I am not in competition with you or anybody else. However, seeing you grant countless interviews where you constantly discredit my effort to the group that we both created and built together speaks volumes. The singer's letter also highlighted the personal toll of the public feud, including what he describes as an ongoing disrespect towards his family, his wife and himself. Peter concluded his letter with a promise to address the ongoing legal issues involving the EFCC and the group's former manager and elder brother, Jude Okoye. Now, I read this letter and I must say that it was so touching for me. And, you know, this feud always going on between Peter and Paul is something that a lot of us do not really want to be seen because these two people are people that we've looked up to growing up, you know, following their musical journey, even their personal journey. So it's always so heartbreaking when we come online and then we're seeing that two of them are always fighting. Like, it's like after a fight, they come back together and now they're fighting again. And to be honest, I've never seen twins fight. I always say this. This is the first time I've actually seen twins have like a quarrel. So I don't know. Between Peter, Paul, Jude, I think they can really fix this. They should just come together, have like, you know, a family discussion or whatever. And I think this is not something that should be going on for long and then coming on social media and then we're hearing, you know, your problems. Guys, fix it. You are legends. You are all grown. Nobody is a kid here, right? And on our new collection, Max Fashion, the premier international fashion brand based in Dubai, with a strong online presence throughout India, has partnered with Bollywood actress Alaya F 
to offer a new collection that is specifically tailored to meet the rising demands of the younger generation. The collection features blend of modern and contemporary designs, new feminine that blends strength with grace through balloon hems and gingham tops, while ultra filling, a mix of grunge denims with bold animal prints, low-key luxury features earthy, dystopian-inspired prints with metallic accents, and rustic denim revives 90s aesthetics with brown denims and graphic prints. And on Spicy or Not, Lindsay Lohan sent Disney fans into a frenzy when she joined Jamie Lee Curtis to announce the sequel to their early arts hit Freaky Friday at Disney's D23 fan event over the weekend. And on Sunday, she honored her co-star in a glorious lime green dress that gave off all the goddess vibes. Lohan wore her red hair in a half-up style to show off a pair of glittering diamond statement earrings keeping the sparkling theme going with a vintage diamond bracelet and a crystal covered clutch and don't forget to catch us up at spice tv on score africa until the next episode do have a lovely time bye